Thanks to the new CMS features, creating articles inside Studio has never been easier. And I want to show you how you can create your first article. Now, to navigate to the CMS, you can get there a few ways. If you're first logging in, you can go to your project and just click on the dashboard link. Now, if you're coming from the design editor that looks like this, you'll want to click on your project name near the top left. In this case, it's my first blog. Now we're inside the dashboard and we can go into the second tab, CMS, and we can see all of our existing drafts. Now to create our first article, we'll want to click Add New near the top right. And you can see that we have an area to input a title and some body text. Near the right, we have our property settings. So this is where we can set a unique slug. We can add a cover image for our article and we can also set the author and add tags. There are also advanced features for adding more properties and I'm going to go over that in a future video so I'm not going to cover that in this video. Now let's give our first article a title. Now you'll notice when I click to add text there's an icon near the left of this text. This is a plus icon and this allows you to add different elements besides text. So we have the option to add images, embed YouTube videos or other embedded code, and we can format bulleted lists or create headers and things like that. And I'll start off by just pasting in some text here. And now that we have our article started, we can begin by styling our text differently or adding links. So to style any piece of this text, all we have to do is highlight a word or a sentence. And we have some contextual menu items here to bold our text, to add some italics. We can also style this as source code if we'd like, or we can add a link. So in this case, I want to link to another article and we have the option to open a link in a new tab or not. Once you're finished, just go ahead and click away and we can see that that style is applied here. Now that we've added this text, you can also see near the left of this paragraph here, we have a P icon. And if we click on this, we have the option to style this whole paragraph as a heading, as a bulleted list, and things like that. So for example, we have what is visual composition and design. We may want to style this as a header. So we can click on this icon here and click Heading 2. And that's going to style that appropriately for me. Now down below this paragraph, I want to add an image. So I can hit the Return key and just click on this plus icon and I have the option to add an image here. So here we're going to add this butterfly graphic and once we click Open, we can see that's now added to our blog. Now we're almost done with our article but I want to set a cover image now and add an author. So all we have to do is click upload here in the cover image. And I have a nice cover image here that I want to use. And then I'm going to set the author as myself. So I'll do that here. And then we can add a tag. In this case, it's design. We can add multiple tags if we'd like. So if we click on there again, we can also choose website. And now to preview our article, we can click on the live preview button which opens up this preview where we can scroll through and see exactly how this is designed. Once you've reviewed the design, you can go ahead and close that tab. And once you're ready to publish, just go ahead and click on the publish link. Now we can go back into our dashboard here and we can see that our article, Key Principles for Better Design Composition, has now been published.